Order. On Monday, the 17th of March, I inform the House that there would today be an opportunity for honourable and right honourable members to pay tribute to the right honourable Tony Benn. Mr. John MacDonald. Can I just say, uh, Tony, along with the honourable member for Bolsover, founded the Socialist Campaign Group, of which I'm a chair. And I give the apologies of the member for Islington North, who's at the Human Rights Delegation in Geneva at the moment, can't come here today. Uh, he inspired, Tony inspired my generation, and we didn't just respect him. As the Honourable Member from Bolsover said, we love the man. We love the man. And I want to go back to what the Honourable Member for Bolsover said about the longer suicide note. Because I, it was interesting, because it's come up time and time again amongst the commemorations that have taken place over the last, last week or so. And I want to take him not to the Manifesto of 1983, but to the Labour's programme of 1982, which was the Benite programme that was written virtually by Tony Benn. And it's worth looking back on what that said. It was absolutely prophetic. It basically said, we will create a society which is more democratic, more fair and more just and more equal. And how do we do it? Tony's ideas in that programme were straightforward. We undertake a fundamental, irreversible shift and redistribution of wealth and power. And how do you do that? A fair and just tax system? You tackle tax evasion and tax avoidance? You take control of the Bank of England? You prevent <coughs> speculation in the city and the banks because it could be dangerous to our long-term economic health? And you create full employment? That's what he was about. That's what he inspired us to do. And it was interesting, he said invest in housing, in health, in education, give all young people the opportunity of staying on at school with an educational maintenance allowance, make sure that they had a, a guarantee of an apprenticeship or training, and went, had the opportunity to go to university not on a fee but on a grant. That was his programme in 1982. It was prophetic years in advance of its time. And he said what we need to create the wealth is an industrial strategy, a manufacturing base, based upon new technology and skills. And actually in that programme, I remember in one of his speeches, he talked about alternative energy sources, well in advance of the debate around climate change. And it included equal rights for women, equal rights for the lesbian LGBT community, and also what else was he committed to? He lost a brother in the war, so he's committed to peace. And bravery, courageously, he called for inclusive talks in Northern Ireland, everyone round the table to secure peace. And he also said we need to control the arms trade. No more arms sold to dictators in the Middle East to use those weapons against their own people and destabilise the region. And of course he argued for unilateral nuclear disarmament, which I continue to support, and many, it remains popular. And he was a European. Sceptical of the European Union, but a true European. I just found that inspiring. He inspired my generation, he inspired generations to come. And what a world we would have created if we'd have listened to him. But more importantly, what a world we can create now if we listen to him. Solidarity and go well, comrade, because you made a significant contribution to all of our lives. And I just hope those lessons that he taught us will now be able to implement when Labour goes back into power next. Yeah. Yeah.